Hi, everybody. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski. Welcome to Chicago, Illinois. Puck drop just moments away. Quick thought before we get things underway here in the postseason. The veterans will be excited. The rookies will be so nervous as they all get set to drop the puck for the first time in the playoffs this year. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. Dishes it to Pareko. Puck scooped up by Taves. Hello! Yeah, hello. Scores! Oh, what a finish on his part! Great hands, and you know that the player is confident when they can pull this move off in so tight. What a great play! And he finishes it by beating the goaltender. So good handling the puck. When he gets that puck in the zone, he's got the puck on the string. The defender reaches, makes the mistake, and gets beaten. Now the goalie's got no chance. It's tough to keep an eye on his quick hands when he's got stick-handling skills like we just saw. His puck on a string zone ability, it really bothers goaltenders, and it's exactly what allowed him to put one on the board there, guys. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Makes the save. From behind the net. Oh, and stops him again. Kane's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. Dabrink, it's walking the line. Perron's the victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. Goaltenders at the bench with the delayed penalty being called. They've got an extra attacker now on the ice. Here comes the official's call. Dabrinkit's two-handed chop is going to send him off to the box. If you're going to slash, you better not make it so obvious. I mean, that's a penalty every time. The Blues will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, good news for them as they trail by one, they get a power play. The key here, though, James, is to be confident without pressing. Just get the puck to the net, make the penalty killer stress. Oh, what a stop with the paddle! They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck, it doesn't stay in front of them. If they can't stop it and catch it, they want that puck in the corner. A chance! Oh, what a great save by Leonard! A chance to get it out of harm's way here on this penalty kill. Gets it out of his own end. St. Louis has possession of the puck. The Blues move to the offensive zone. Oh, and I'm sure they'd like to read you on that. Now, lots of work and nothing for it as they don't get the puck on goal. Can't get it to go. He powders this shot from the point, except it's over four feet high. It goes racing over the top of the net. Might make the goaltender a little nervous next time he unloads. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. Puck grab by Kasha. Too much traffic in the lane. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Dabrinkit's time is almost done. St. Louis fails to execute on the power play. They still trail by a goal. Oh, they're going to rue that one. A chance to even the score here. They didn't get it done. And we go back to even strength. Slides it back to the blue line. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. And off the save, that one goes into the crowd for a souvenir. Here we go, Brannigan. Let's get another replay at this. Oh, that's a good save. The goalie is in good position to turn away a really good scoring chance. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Chicago's up one zip. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Chicago's got it in the neutral zone. Kubalik's loving the puck. Maintains possession. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Great reach with the poke check. St. Louis has the puck. Dishes it to Costin. The Blues take it across the line. 
Costin's going to play it against the half wall. Couldn't complete the pass. Doc's got it along the boards. Moves it to Kubelik. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Takes the feed. Shen's got it against the boards. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Quick pass to Pareko. That pass doesn't go. And now it's grabbed by Nylander. There's a shot. Stopped by Bennington. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Savard. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. From the slot, grabs him with the glove. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Replay gives you the same result as live time. Goalie turns away a good scoring chance. Still lots of time left in the period. Chicago's ahead, 1-0. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Blues have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Perron. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. The 360 with the puck. Quick feed to Shen. The defenseman will go off as the puck is dumped in. And that's knocked away. St. Louis has possession of the puck in the offensive end. Here's a shot, and it comes up with the save. Gains the zone through the middle. Here he is, wrists it on net. Can't get it to go. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. Picked up along the wall by Dahlstrom. Inside his own end moves the puck. And now he angles it across to Tarasenko. Here comes the pushback. You can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, and I do, it doesn't matter. Somebody's coming after you. And the crowd on their feet. They wanted it, they got it, and we might even see more. Yeah, in the rivalry game where you don't like the other team, it doesn't take much to spark a fight. It looked even until it wasn't, and the road team gets a clear decision here. Chicago's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Five minute power play will be starting now. You have to be careful that you don't think it's so much time you have no urgency. The Blackhawks have it behind the cage. Through pass ahead. Here's a short pass to Debrinkit. That goes off a twig. Taken along the wall by Taves. From the slot, wrist shot. Here's a pass down low. Cuts to the paint. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. Tarasenko's usually scouted before any key matchup because he's a special player and a good point getter. Kane's got great hands. His puck on a string zone ability means he can stick handle his way into scoring chances. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their team tonight. Back to you guys. Tries to feed it over to Taves. Gains the zone. Easy peasy right there by Bennington. Grabbed along the boards by Debrinkin. St. Louis will try to break out here shorthanded. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Chicago's got it from behind the net. Here's the scoring chance, two on one. Costin's ready to go. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. The play doesn't die on his stick, James. There's always a next play for him because he works his way around the defenders. He's got a good chance here again, but the goalie makes a good save. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. 
And he makes the save. Leonard's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Bennington's on top of this. That's an enormous stop on a scoring chance. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. The Blackhawks take possession off the faceoff. Tries to get it to Puckett. And no luck on that pass attempt. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Blackhawks have it from their own end. Slides the puck to Puckett. The Blackhawks will play from the defensive zone. Moves it to Fulk. Return pass. Poked away in the neutral zone. The Blackhawks have it now. Chicago's regained possession of the puck. Taken by Fulk. Quick pass to Thomas. And now it's over to Cairo. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Hoffman. Chicago's got a hold of the puck. The Blackhawks work it through center. Unloads one. And that banks off a stick. Works it across to Thomas. Puts the puck on net. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Leonard. Puck picked up by Savard. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. And that was stopped. Can't connect. Kasha's got the puck in his own zone. Receives the pass. Dabrinkit's able to jump back into the play. Heady work by the trainer to get him a new stick. Trying to engage a little physicality here. Down the right side and into the zone. The Blues gain possession. The Blackhawks have it in the offensive end. Couldn't find the intended target. Couldn't connect on that pass. He's got a little jump. He's in. All alone. Great save. Leonard's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Our replay is going to show this is a pretty good shot, but the goalie uses the stick to turn it aside, using all the equipment available for the save. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Blackhawks have taken a 1-0 lead. Pushes it across to Perot. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Dahlstrom's got it along the wing. Ties him up, and it didn't go unnoticed in the eyes of the officials here. Here we go, goaltenders at the bench. They've got the extra attacker out with the delayed penalty. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. We got a minor penalty coming up here. For sure, James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. St. Louis is set to go back to work on the power play. This power play almost jumped off the bench as soon as the penalty was called. They won out. They think they're the answer for the one goal deficit. Handles the puck. Moves it quickly over to Tarasenko. From point blank. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Leonard. Nice job to escape the zone. St. Louis looks to get things going now with the puck. Tarasenko's got it into offensive territory. St. Louis has the puck in the corner. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. The Blues gain control of the puck. Oh, there's one more. He's like a backboard in there. Bang, bang, the puck's off him twice. He makes two stops. Another look on the replay at a good scoring chance that's turned aside. The goalie's in position. Doesn't have to make a spectacular save, so it's a good one. Thomas is ready for the face-off as we are about to resume this power play. Puck scooped up by Richie. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Slides it on over to Perot. Puck cleared from the defensive end. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Puck dumped in. The Blackhawks have possession shorthanded. And they send it down the ice. 
Chicago's got the puck. Tosses it to Kasha. St. Louis is still down a goal as the power play fires blanks. Well, not much they're going to be able to do about that. The power play failed. Now they go back to even strength. Great reach with the poke check by Taves. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. The Blackhawks take it along the wall. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Bennington. As we get another look at this stop, really good technique on the blocker getting that puck away from the net. Here in the late goings of the period, the Blackhawks lead it 1 0. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Can't connect on the pass. Fabry's carrying it ahead. Puck grab by Mata. Takes the feed. From the left side, they gain the zone. And the play continues. Here he is from the slot. That's off a stick. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. And that'll do it. Period number one is in the books. A lone goal is the difference so far through the first 20. It's a 1-0 game. Two more periods still to come. We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is struck, and we are underway. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? St. Louis played an aggressive first period. I thought they had the majority of possession, but they still trail by one. Bennington's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Kane's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same. You wear the same suit all the time. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. St. Louis takes possession of the puck. Perron swooping in on the attack. And that's knocked away by Kane. Quick feed to Pareko. Scooped up along the wall by Taves. Slides the puck over. And now it's grabbed by Kane. He carries the puck up along the wing. Here's a blast! Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. I love watching him do this. It's like he's got the puck on his string. He just dangles around defenseman, draws him in, goes around him, gets a chance on net. This time, though, the goalie beats him. On the attack along the boards. Oh, what a smart heads-up play. Moves the puck over to Doc. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Here's a short pass to Kane. How did he stop that one? Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck, in close. He takes away any room. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Murphy. Headman pass. The Blues look to start the transition game. Dished on over to Fulk. Here they come inside the neutral zone. St. Louis has it. The Blues going to work on offense. Oh, there's a great stop by Leonard. Tries to get it over to Murphy. Off a stick and they can't connect. And that's knocked aside with the stick by Murphy. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. He scores! What an effort to get this game back to level. You've got to continue to work even when you trail in the game. They did that, and now they have a brand new game to play.
St. Louis gets the start they wanted here in this second period, tying things up. Well, you've got either two really good teams or two teams that aren't very good, but they're both the same, and it's been a really entertaining night. Sends a pass over. St. Louis has it against the half wall. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. We're still in the early stages of this period. We got a tie game. Chicago's got possession here in their own end. Sends the pass over. Throws it in. Bertuzzo's got it in the defensive end. From the boards, he takes that pass. Picked up along the wall by Strom. Handles it along the blue line. Taken by Perot. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Sanford. Looking to make something happen at center. St. Louis plays it along the wing. The Blackhawks gain possession along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Great poke check on the reach. And that's intercepted by Kasha. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Moves it to Dahlstrom. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And that's broken up. And there's the whistle, and did they ever need that one? Uh, under pressure here for a pretty good length of time, running around in their zone, but fortunately the goaltender is able to get a whistle. Now they can catch your breath. He ran right through him on that hit. Lined him up, timed it perfectly. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Can't get it to go. Nothing doing on that. That's moved up ahead. Pass back to the point. Takes the pass. Big time stop. Leonard's made an excellent effort here. He's got to be quick. He's got to be sharp. He's got to be on top of the puck to make that stop. Steps into all of that. Oh, he got oh. clobbered. Man, did he ever. And to make matters worse, he's got a stick knocked out of his hands. Now he's got to go chase the twig down. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. The Blues take it across the blue line. Shot turned aside with the glove by Leonard. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. That's a good scoring chance generated here, but the goalie's all over it. That's a really good save again. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. They go on the attack through center. And that's broken up. St. Louis plays it up ahead. Here they are on the attack. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Taken along the wall by Perron. Quick pass to Hannafin. Nice pass. From one point man to another. St. Louis will try to make something happen here in the offensive zone. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And that's poked away by Perron. Moves the puck. Takes the feed. Big time stop there. Pinned up along the boards. And the puck's kicked free. The Blues have it behind the net. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Richie's got it deep in the offensive end. And that one's broken up. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Richie's the victim of a hook penalty coming up. The Blues are in transition. 
Oh, what a hit along the boards! Here comes the official's decision. The Blackhawks have been handed two minutes for hooking. I guess at a certain point you gotta let the guy go, but he worries that he's out of position, so he tries to slow him down with a hook. Pretty cut and dry call. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Really doesn't matter if the power play scored before or not in this game, which it hasn't. You've got to focus in on the one that you've got right now. It's time to tee off on this one. Puck picked up by Highmore. Gaining momentum up along the side. Slides it across. That's gloved by Bennington. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Thomas is at the face-off dot and will try to win the draw as we are about to resume this power play. Chicago's got it in the offensive zone. And they won't connect on that one. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. Receives the pass. Cutting to the slot. Poked away by the goaltender. Here's the clearing attempt. And they get it down. That good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Across the line and on the attack. Poked away in the offensive zone by Pareko. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. Here's a chance. Too much congestion in front. The Blues have it against the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. St. Louis hits in, he scores! Man, their bench jumped right up. Both teams go. The longer you stay locked in a tie, luck starts to play a bigger part of the victory. This puck changes directions pretty significantly here as it bounces off the defender and goes in. St. Louis gets that one goal lead now here in period number two. Really competitive game. There's not been a lot to choose between the two teams, and now they've got the lead here in the second period. Hoffman's got the puck. A chance right in front. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Steps inside. Chicago's got the puck in their own end. The Blackhawks carry it along the wall. Oh, there it is, they score! Johnny on the spot, he tucks in the rebound. A uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. Well past the midway mark of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Chicago's got possession here in the neutral zone. Puck scooped up by Murphy. Feeds it on over to Ernie. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. The Blackhawks take possession in the defensive end. And that pass can't connect. Couldn't complete the pass. St. Louis on the attack. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Gains the zone from the right. Tries to the crease, and that's blocked away. Moves it quickly over to Murphy. Handles the puck. There's another for the hit parade. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Fantastic save! St. Louis is on the attack. Too many bodies in the way. Looks to set up at the point now. That pass doesn't go. Puck grab by Kubalik. Moves along the boards with some purpose. St. Louis has possession of the puck. 
Tarasenko's moving the puck through his own zone. Here they come up along the wing. Quick feed to Perot. Grabbed along the board by Nylander. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Shen. Takes the feed. And now he moves it to Perron. Takes the feed from his own end. Here he is in front with the stop. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck. Chicago's across the blue line. Easily turned aside by Bennington. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Bennington's on top of that one for a whistle. Little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. That was a big hit. You've got to be willing to put your own body on the line to make a hit like that. Late goings of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Here's a shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Oh, they do it again. He's saving them again. There's a couple back-to-back -back saves. Great poke by Thomas. And no luck on that pass attempt. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. With possession along the wall. Quick shot. Oh, a clutch save. And that carries off a stick. And that puck leaves the zone. Referee Shillabek's hand is in the air. We've got a penalty coming up. Whistle blown, stopping the play. The Blues have been handed two for interference. If he makes the same play but keeps his feet rolling along, he's not going to get called for interference. Wasn't the case on this one, though. Chicago's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. Scooped up along the wall by Keith. Feeds it to Doc. And the sound of the horn will wrap things up for period number two in what has been a tightly contested affair. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Teams are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. The Blackhawks start the period off on the right note, winning the draw, and their man advantage unit gets going. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Blackhawks scoop it up along the boards. And here's the pass to Kane. And we've got a two-on-one. Oh, just a piece of it with the glove. It's almost like a slithery move into the traffic and around players. That's such a good skill. You gotta have patience to wind your way through. Chance in front. They score! James patient, dragging the defender in tight where they think they've got a chance to stop the play. But they don't. Great hands, great move, and it's in the net. Such a great puck handler. He's able to stick handle through the tightest of spaces, pulls the defender out of position, and then scores. Beats the goalie clean. Chicago's up by one now here in this third period. You don't have much breathing room, but I guess it's better to be in front than behind. They'll want to continue to try to forecheck. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. The Blackhawks have it now. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And that's picked off. Shot in front. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. 
from one end of the blue line to the other. Oh, what a save in front! Leonard's going to hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but in a good scheme, you want to be sure every time you do. Sometimes you pick up a little extra in the replay here. As you look at this, the goalie is so sharp to make this save. That's an excellent shot that is taken, and the goalie turns it away. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Chicago's grabbed a hold of the puck. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. And the intensity starts to ramp up here after that hit. Moves around along the half wall. Here's a short pass to Shen. Slides the puck over. Ferraro's gonna play it near the point. Now that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. Drives to the paint! He scores! Vladimir Tarasenko! tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's all tied up. Fabry's won it. Moves it to Folk. Sends a pass over. Fabry's not contributed anything offensively tonight. They haven't needed him so far but they could sure use a pop from him now. Sends the pass over. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Murphy. Passes the puck over to Nylander. Taken by Hoffman. Picked up along the wall by DeHaan. Scrum along the boards. Move into the middle. Quick pass to Cairo. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. Leonard's gonna hang on for a whistle. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Chicago's got a hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Strom. Picked up along the boards by DeHaan. Puts it in deep. The Blackhawks take over on possession. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Quick pass across to Ernie. The Blues played along the boards. Hammers a shot. That's blocked by Leonard. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice, the goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We got a tie game. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Dahlstrom's taking it from his own end. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Taken along the wall by Sanford. Puck picked up by Kasha. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Highmore. Leonard's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Man, oh man, these two rivals are beating the heck out of each other. These hits will not stop until the horn finally sounds at the end of the game. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Takes the pass. Moves it quickly over to Kane. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. Moves the puck behind the net. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. They're off to the box, boarding is the call. Sometimes the sound of the hit is what draws the penalty. St. Louis is ready to go back to work on special teams. 
Matt, I used to get so sour when our power play would struggle. Pretty soon, it turns into a conditioning drill, and it's been that for these guys. Up and down the ice, they haven't been set up at all. And they move the puck out of harm's way. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. St. Louis is in the offensive zone. Quick feed to Savard. Feeds the puck to Niku. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. St. Louis looks to get things going now with the puck. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. With the bank pass. Look out! Denies him! Grabbed along the board by Taves. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Moves it on over to Thomas. Broken up at center by Taves. The Blues have it behind the cage. Here's a shot! Scores! He buries it! Well, the game is level from this point. You get a chance, you finish it off. Now you can play from in front. What a great effort on the shorthanded goal here. As the game is tied, you're trying to prevent them from scoring. You get a break, you take advantage. Well done. Chicago's gone up by one in this third period. Do you attack or do you sit back? Well, for me, it's always to attack. At least don't be conservative yet. Too much time left. Here's a short pass to Perron. That's probably not what they were planning on the power play. They serve up a shorthanded goal with the special teams unit, but now both teams back to even strength. Oh, they're not going to think too much about that. You, will, you want to at least generate a little momentum on your power play. Not only did they not score, they gave up a shorty, which is always deflating. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Can't connect on the pass. Chicago's got possession of the puck. Great pressure on the offensive end by Shen. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. The Blues gain control of the puck. And that's picked up in the defensive end. Moves it to Perron. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. The Blackhawks will play it in their own end. Stays with it. Up along the wing. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. We got a penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. Hannafin's going off for elbowing. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's gonna circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Are you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Dabrinkit's team has the advantage here with the power play, and it's an opportunity for him to use his zone ability and maybe even help the team light the lamp. St. Louis wins the draw. Pareko's got the puck through the neutral zone. Dumps it in. Great reach with the poke check. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Nice pass. Hammers it on net. Denies him on the play. Chicago's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Battle along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Thomas. The Blues played along the boards. Keith sliding the puck along the line. He scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. gets a little bit of this, almost beat cleanly, but it's not going to matter. It's in the net anyway.
The Blackhawks now with that two-goal lead. How does that change things here in this third period? Well, now as it gets late, James, they can really manage the puck well. Don't have to take any chances with it. Slides it across to Murphy. Quick pass to Jahan. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Wrists one. Oh, breaks it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. St. Louis comes so close to getting themselves into a position to take over this game. Momentum won't change as that hits the post and stays out. Here's a chance. What a save by Leonard. Moves the puck. Debrink, it's got it on the offensive end. Chicago's coaches are... He scores! That's how you do it! Leadership to a team! The captain capitalizes! The defender can only really hang their head. I mean, you get beat that cleanly with that speed, that agility, that is an ankle breaker, and it leads to this goal. Chicago's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been nonstop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. Quick pass to Richie. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Picked up along the wall by Richie. Hunts the boards through the neutral zone. Sends it in deep. Moves it quickly over to Kairou. Makes his presence known on the ice. Picked up along the boards by Kairou. Slides the puck over to Perlini. Turns it over. Kairou is going to play it against the half wall. Chicago's got the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a chance. Quick feed to Puckhead. Off target. So frustrating. You do all this work, you get it into a good spot, you don't get it on the net. With the blast. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Leonard's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Pass to Kubalik. Let's the wrister fly. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Check in with our own Carlin Bade. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? Kane's been more noticeable in my eyes this game, guys. I like that he was able to generate offense and he used his zone ability to get there. And the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is called for yet another penalty. Perron's getting called for tripping. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down and he's got to go to the box. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. They've zipped the puck around pretty nicely on their previous power plays, and they've been rewarded for their fine work. The key is to stay sharp. Don't think it's just going to happen for you. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Shen's gliding in for the faceoff as this penalty kill will continue. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. The Blackhawks gain possession. Here's a short pass to Kubali. Fails to find the open man. Feeds it down low. Can't get it to go. Takes the feed. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. And that pass is redirected. Denied by the goaltender. The Blackhawks have it against the wall. From center, they get into the attacking area. Sanford's lugging the puck. The Blues move it ahead. Intercepted at center by Kubalik. The Blackhawks play it along the wing. Sanford's picking up momentum through center. Moves it to Shen. Chicago's regained possession of the puck. Moves inside! Blocked in 
traffic. I don't believe the coaches are going to be too worried about this. They didn't score on the power play, but I think it's most important that they didn't give anything up. They've got such a nice lead. The coaches are more focused on making sure this game plays out comfortably. The setters will glide into the dot. Nice job tying up his opponent. Puck grabbed by Perron. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Gets the glove on it to make the save. Coming up on the final minute of regulation time. And he denied that opportunity. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Receives the pass. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. Quick pass to Debrinkit. Across the point. And that goes wide. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is coming up. Shen's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. He's got to keep his feet moving so he doesn't get called for interference. Caves wins it in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Here's a rocket of a shot, and that's blocked. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. The Blues will kill off a few extra seconds now. In a load on the breakaway! Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. It is all over. one nothing. It's not do or die, but how important is that win? Well, you feel better about yourself. You feel like you've got the leg up, which you do. And now you put so much pressure on your opponents for game two. You know who loves a winner? Everybody, listen to this place. You want everybody on the same side? Win some games. The players salute the fans who get to cheer a great evening. In short, you simply have to love playoff hockey. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us this evening.